Hey you guys, it's Emily with Heart My Body Fitness and today we're gonna do a BOSU core workout in less than 10 minutes. The BOSU is one of my very favorite pieces of exercise equipment because it provides a lot of instability which requires then our core to be super stable to combat that. If you haven't seen a BOSU, it kind of looks like half of a stability ball, but on a flat surface. So we've got the dome and the flat side. Today, everything we do will be on the flat side. So dome up, flat side down. And it's going to allow us to get a full, well-rounded core workout. The BOSU is one of those pieces of equipment that I just use almost all the time. So I love having it in my home workout collection. And if you want one, you can look down, get one for yourself by clicking on the link below. Okay, we've got four exercises for this workout. We'll do everything for 45 seconds a piece, and we're gonna go through this as a circuit with no rest in between. We'll do two full rounds together. Before I demo the exercises for you, as always, I would love for you to like this video on YouTube, to share it out with your friends, and of course, to subscribe to my channel. That really is the best way to let me know that you like videos like this and want more of them. And I'm putting out new videos every Monday, so if you subscribe, you will never miss a Monday. Okay, let me demo the exercises for you first, and then we're gonna go through them as a circuit. Okay, find an open space, guys. I'm gonna start with the BOSU at the end of my mat for the first exercise. If you have open space and aren't using a mat, you can put it wherever you want to. But for the first exercise, we will come down onto our hands and we're gonna place our feet up onto the apex of the BOSU. So we'll hold a plank position like this. And if this is enough for you, then this is all you have to do. Just hold the plank for 45 seconds. If you want a little bit more, we'll lift one foot at a time and then bring it out to the side and lower it down as close to the ground as you can. You can even tap it down and then bring it back up and we'll switch sides. Now, if that's too much and you wanna do kind of try the lift of the leg, you can always just lift your toe up, bring it back down, or you can lift it and just bring it out as far as you feel comfortable going. What we don't wanna have happen is for our hips to start to like sway side to side. So everything's supposed to stay nice and straight from your head all the way down to your heels, except for this moving leg. Okay, that's the first exercise. Next exercise, we'll go into a bird dog, but on the BOSU. So the bird dog is one arm, opposite leg going out. We'll do that, but with our knee up on top. So I'm gonna start with my uh, right leg stationary on top of the BOSU. So my left leg's gonna move. You can pick whatever you want. Your opposite arm of your moving leg will also move out. So you've noticed here, I'm gonna place my knee up close to the top of the apex of the BOSU with my toes down for now of my back bottom foot. My opposite leg does the moving and then my opposite arm from that leg moves forward as well. What you can do here to make this more stable is keep your bottom set of toes down at all times. You can even do one leg and just kick it back and bring it in, or you can do one arm. You might have to kind of move your positioning a little bit to stay stable with that, but you can also just do one arm at a time. But if you're ready, you'll do one leg and one arm out and in, and you'll even maybe lift your toes of your stationary leg. Whew, that's challenging. And try not to move your torso if you want even more, and I don't even do this one very often, but if you want more, you can always bring your stationary hand down. Oh, hello abs. And then reach out and bring it in. So I'll leave that decision to you guys. The next exercise after that, we will be in a side plank or a side crunch rather. You'll have your bottom leg bent. That provides you with stability. Your top leg will be straight bring your top arm straight out as well. So we're nice and long through our body here and we're gonna crunch in and out. Now, right now I've got my bottom arm on the ground assisting me. That's cool if you wanna do that. You can also have just your hand on the ground for a little bit less stability. And then when you feel ready, you can do both arms up, reaching for that leg. You'll notice too with the BOSU, sometimes you kind of have to move your body to a different position in order to access the movement more. That's totally cool if you need to adjust during. Okay, the last exercise will be a dead bug or a struggling bug as I like to say. And I'll show you why. We're gonna be on the BOSU. Make sure that your low back is supported here. 
lift your legs up in the air as close to 90 degrees as you can get them. And again, you might have to kind of wiggle around and find the best spot on the BOSU. When you feel ready, one arm up, other arm up. If this is enough for you, you can feel your abs on fire, then just hold. And if you want more, you can do a struggling bug, which for me is just movements. And there's no pattern to the movement necessarily. It's just how can I move to change the positioning of my limbs in order to make my abs turn on even more. So we're gonna go through all those back to back to back. We will do one side each on exercise two and three. So for the uh, side crunch and for the bird dog, we'll do 45 on one side, 45 on the other. Let's hop right into it. Okay, I'm gonna start my interval timer. Find your spot. And we're starting with that plank. Place your feet on the apex of the BOSU. And here we go. First, find that plank position. So straight line from your head all the way down to your heels. When you're ready, you can lift a leg and bring it out to the side and down. I like to inhale down, exhale up. Your form is key on this. So try to maintain that nice, stable, straight line. It's not gonna waver, even though you'll notice that you do wanna move as your leg moves. Don't allow yourself to. Keep holding strong, Whew. five seconds. Two and one, going right into that bird dog. I'm gonna move this, here we go. Starting on one side. I always like to do a modified version first to find my perfect form and then I'll get into the more advanced version with my toes up. Ooh. This one is so challenging, but so good. Keep breathing, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, let's switch sides. Whew. Opposite arm and opposite leg out and in. You might notice too, I'm not lifting my arm or my leg super high. No higher than the height of my torso from the ground. And that's fine because the goal isn't for height. The goal is for stability, that's the key. I like to think of pulling my belly button up toward my spine, especially as I bring my knee and arm in right there. Five seconds, next up is that side crunch. We'll do switch, 45 seconds one side, 45 seconds on the other. Sometimes with the BOSU, it takes a second to figure out your positioning, that's cool. Do what you gotta do. So I can really feel this ooh, in my obliques on the top side. See if you can grow a little bit longer here and then crunch it in. You might be able to lift your bottom arm up for me on this side, I've got some instability, so I'm not gonna do it. I've already tried it and it's a no-go, but you can try it certainly, and I will do it on the other side. Switch. Whew. Nice and long and crunch. If you're really struggling on this one, please know this is an advanced movement. So if you need to lower your hand down, that's cool. Just do your thing to make it work for you. As long as you're feeling your obliques working, that's cool. And sometimes you have to do it multiple rounds or multiple even workouts to find that perfect spot on the BOSU. 
and dead bug, struggling bug. Here we go. All right, make sure that your low back is supported. Find that perfect crunch position that's gonna allow you to turn those abs on. And when you're ready, you can start to do different arm and leg movements. Oh, hello. In order to prevent straining my neck on this, I like to look forward or slightly up, but not all the way up. I'd love to see what kind of struggling bug you're doing right now. I know my arms and legs can go on their own sometimes. Whew, okay, let's do it again. All right, let's make that second round the best round yet. Now that we're all warmed up, find your plank when you're ready. Add that toe tap. Thirty seconds to go. If you wanted a little bit more, you could even start to speed up. I kind of like to do a combo where it's like one or two slow and then two or four fast even. Last five. Dead breath. Yeah, bird dog's next. Here we go. We'll do one side and the other. As you fatigue, you might feel like your back wants to arch around. Fight that urge. We're almost done. We've got 15 seconds to go. Woo. Then we'll switch sides. 10 seconds. Five. Woo. And switch. I love this exercise so much. It is so challenging. Fight against the part of your body that wants to move. Squeeze. Can you squeeze your glutes a little bit tighter? Pull your belly button in a little bit more. Press your stationary hand into the ground. 10 seconds. That side crunch is next. Almost done. Three, two, and one. Side crunch. Oh. No abs. Oh, I am feeling them. Here we go. You guys are doing great. Stay strong with this. I'm doing right now. Oh. <laughs> or spit, do whatever you want to do. Sometimes when I'm teaching, if I take like a really deep breath and then I exhale, it'll be like <sighs> or something weird. <laughs> That's okay as long as we're getting through it. Woo. Three, two, and one, six sides. I'm gonna work my way up to try to lift both arms. Maybe you can do it on this round. If you haven't tried it already, go for it. Woo! We're almost there. seconds. Finish it strong. And let's go into our struggling bug. This is our last exercise for this workout. Okay. Get into that perfect hold. Pull your belly button down toward the gosu. And you can just 
play with it. Where your arms want to move. As I move my arm back, I can feel my abs really light up. And I have to crunch even just a little bit more to stabilize. Woo! And we are done. So I don't know about you, but my abs are definitely talking to me. That was a great workout. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I so appreciate your time. If you liked that, please let me know by liking it on YouTube, by sharing it out with your friends, anybody that you want to have as a workout buddy, do this. You can even tag me and I'll show you some love on Instagram and Facebook. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I so appreciate it. Again, I'm putting out new videos every Monday. And if you subscribe, then you'll never miss a Monday. I will see you next week, guys. Bye.